So the next thing that we're going to do, I'm going to use you, is I know that you guys do this in jiu-jitsu where you guys are getting onto your knees, but over here we can do the same exact thing for Muay Thai. So when we talk about the underhooks, the body locks, you mean you got the head snap down if you basically have this position, I can always step to the side and guess what happens? I can slowly twist them over. Does that make sense? Yes. So the only difference is, is that we don't really have too much of a base, but we're looking to kind of pull in for position, just like yeah, we're just looking for it. Yeah, we're not worried about knees. You can just see that our body's up tall and we're looking. So if he, yep, so he's pulling me up, he pushes me down. And then from there I reset and I do the same exact thing again, where we're looking to position ourselves. Oh. Locking it, you can just see over here. So it's not so much the, the grappling where you guys are, you know, fist bumping and all this other stuff. We're talking about, we're talking about Muay Thai. So your body's going to be straight up into this position. Just chest, lock it. Other way you think about it is like Greco-Roman, using all your upper body. And then eventually, if we're standing up, you're going to see that now we have our full work to kind of help us with our movement. Does that make sense? Okay. So... That's a good question. I'm, I'm thinking it's going to be the same uh, principle uh, behind it. Here, let me put you guys together so if you can see. Is that much taller? Yeah, so she would go basically body lock. Yeah, body lock. Yep. Or underhook. Yep. And then you can move and then just twist. Okay, calm down. Don't kill him. There you go. Nice. Good. But yeah, so the, yeah, so it's the same exact thing that if you're locking up, oh, fist bump, you just left her hanging. Awkward. Awkward moment. Right over here. <laughs> Once you do that body lock, standing up. So if you body lock me, Boom, twist, yep. Yeah. yeah, but see how she's bringing it in toward her? What you want to do is lock it straight out. There it goes, because now she's got her skinny arms, <laughs> the bones and stuff, it's basically driving into my ribs and she's twisting it. So if I'm doing right over here and then I start to readjust, what can't you do? Flip it over, like, <laughs> yeah, yep. And then basically take your body, move it over this side, you know, and try to, and then you can ratchet it. Yes, exactly. So, so does that make sense? So you guys ratchet, as soon as you get that bylock, you basically start latching it and then making it tighter and tighter. And then if you're locking it out, you can start to kind of go make it tighter and tighter and then lock it if you need to. Okay, so that's just something that we can, that you guys can work on. So I'm just gonna have you guys get together on your knees very carefully and gently, try to see if you guys can wrestle for position and then dump them with Muay Thai in mind. All right, two claps on.